So welcome back to another My League Rebuild here on NBA 2K18. In today's video, we're going to be doing another What If Rebuild. It's going to be What If the Phoenix Suns did trade the first overall pick over to the Minnesota Timberwolves for Carl Anthony Towns. I know these rumors came out roughly a week, week and a half ago, and I know I'm a little bit late on making this video, but I did see a few other people make this video, so I thought I'm not going to make it at the same time as them. Why would I ever do that? Because it's not going to get as many views. So we're going to do this today. Um, I know the Phoenix Suns like literally just said they don't really want to trade the first overall pick, but I'm pretty sure they would reconsider if they got Carl Anthony Towns, who wouldn't reconsider. So, uh, yeah, we're going to hop right into this. Uh, our trainer is okay, but we're going to fire him. Clearing house here. Going to bring in much. Bring in the guys I always bring in because they seem to always work out for me. Dan Tony. Uh, I really wish there was more than um, more than like Dan Tony as good head coaches in the first year when you're trying to sign a staff, but whatever uh we do not look like we have a big budget yeah shit okay so peterson oh my god i'll let harris go okay two million we have okay we're good there we have two million for an assistant coach i don't know why it does this like we have the money still okay whatever up to the draft if we don't get the first overall pick i'm gonna put on trade override for it just because they have it in real life yeah we get number two um, so I already do have trade override on just cause I'm gonna have to do it for towns anyways, because there's no way that they're going to take this trade. Carl Anthony Towns is pretty much as untouchable as it gets. So that is done. Now we're going to go number one overall pick player over the Timberwolves, Carl Anthony Towns. This is crazy. This is crazy. Um, I don't know if they'd want anything else. Like, I feel like you'd have to ask for like maybe Josh Jackson. I doubt you would get him. Probably TJ Warren, but. I think I'm just going to throw him a fir future first from, like, the Bucks, Just because, like, just the first overall pick straight up for, like... Because he is the first overall pick, former first overall pick, but he's clearly, like, worked out. Like, he's clearly going to be the best center in the NBA in, like, two years. So we're just going to do this trade. I think it's sort of fair. I get It's, like, it's not fair, but if Carl Anthony Towns isn't happy in Minnesota, that's pretty much all you're going to probably be able to get. Like, it's pretty good value for somebody who's not happy. Like, look at offers for Kawhi right now. You're not getting anything amazing. So Towns, Booker... On this team, definitely our new one-two punch. Young superstars for the future. Uh, as of the rest of this team, there are a few decent to bad contracts. So, Brandon Knight's going to go. He, what happened to him? Is it just injuries? Like, I feel bad if it's literally just all injuries. That Like, that just sucks. Because that's that's what I hate the, war, the most about the NBA. How players get injured and then are just never the same. I'm hoping Gordon Hayward is not... I mean, he's not going to be the same player, obviously. But I'm hoping he bounces back in a pretty decent way i know somebody will give me a first round pick yes thank you houston okay um do i want to move tj warren right now i think i'd rather give josh jackson the starting minutes i know he progresses decently in this game so could i get a top pick for tj warren if i were to go tj warren pick 17 these two seconds oh is that 17 yes so could i get like i know i could get a pretty decent pick could i get like the fifth pick we just got the fifth overall pick so that's decent enough for us. I'll see you guys at Rookie Signings with who I draft. So we're here at Rookie Signings right now, and the third overall pick, we ended up taking Marvin Bagley. I know you're all probably asking me why do I have the third overall pick. Basically, I'm going to put it to you pretty easily. I'm a dumbass. I did not download a draft class as soon as I started this, so I had to reset. I literally made all the same trades. I, it was a two first-round picks for Brandon Knight, same first-round pick. Or all, no, I got the two first from the Spurs for Brandon Knight. I got a first-round pick from the Rockets. I did this same trade with the Atlanta Hawks, except I had to include a first round pick as well so we got the third overall pick because the lottery reset i had to redo it again the hawks ended up getting the third pick instead of the fifth pick that's how we got bagley i just had to include one of my first from san antonio i did not cheat in any way shape or form so I, you might be a little bit upset that i pretty much just traded the first overall pick for the third overall pick in carl anthony towns kind of but it's whatever we have a nice front court for the future this is not a realistic rebuild in any way shape or form so it doesn't really matter um so this team right now is interesting jared dudley i'm gonna move as well i didn't th i don't think i moved him last year um at least i hope i didn't anyway or last when i first time i tried to do the simulation so troy dan okay how much trade value does like marquise chris and dragon bender have together because they're both pretty young still both decently high picks and i don't think they're ever gonna be on this team so um nothing amazing surprisingly so i don't think i'm gonna trade them devon reed just no thank you Okay, I'll take a second round pick for a guy who won't be in the rotation. So, team player options, Alan Williams, so thank you. Eulis, I guess, not really too good, but whatever. Peyton, I'll give the qualifying if he wants it. If he wants to accept the qualifying, I'd probably just trade him. Uh, so, free agency this year, we do have a little bit of cap space. And Kevin Durant does not have an offer. 
Kevin Durant, are you serious? How does Kevin Durant not have an offer? Okay. So Kevin Durant's now on this team. That's um interesting. Nonetheless, interesting. Um, I don't know how that happened. That's like the first time I've signed Kevin Durant in like a year and a half. Seriously. So let's just take a look at this team right now. Not too bad. Kevin Durant, Carl Anthony Towns, Devin Booker, Marvin Bagley. So we need a point guard still. So I think I'm going to be trading Jackson for a point guard at the start of next season. Um, but yeah, this team's looking solid. Uh, can I just bring in Isaiah Thomas and then trade him? Nope, he does not. Okay, it looks like he's going to do, yeah. He does that stupid thing where it says that he's going to sign somewhere else, but ends up signing with me. Um, it looks like Alfred Payton, no, he's going to go to the Lakers. Um, I'll match it and then probably move him. So, the team's pretty solid right now. I think I'm going to make a few trades, and I'll see you guys once I have my first trade. So, if we were somehow able to make this trade, this team would probably win 70 games in the first season. Isaiah Thomas and Josh Jackson with Damian Lillard. Um, my first round pick next year has four and a half star trade value. So if I could make this trade without using that pick, I would be more down. But if I have to do it, I'm going to do it. And how about if I give you one more first round pick? Okay, so it looks like I'm going to have to use my first round pick next year. It's not actually going to have five and a half star trade value just because we're going to be so good. And Dame Dalla is on this team at this point. Look at this squad, bro. Starting five is Durant, Towns, Lillard, Booker, and Bagley. Um, I might actually even keep Alfred Payton for a year. Uh, even though we do have Tal Eulis. Uh Troy Daniels is the backup there. We don't have a backup small forward. Uh, I'm going to trade these two for a better backup power forward or center right now. So let's move Chris and Bender. Okay, trading is broken. Trading is broken. Uh, Chris and Bender for a better backup power forward or center. We need both. So um, power forward or center. Come on, give me something. Trey Lyles, mm, eh, like there's nothing here that's really, damn, okay, so I'm going to do them one at a time actually, so can I go Chris and like a second and a future first from us, what can I get, uh, Thon Makers, interesting, Larry Nance, I think his contract's up after this year though, which does suck, uh, Marcus Morris, Sabonis. Okay, Sabonis has another year after this, so I'm going to make the trade for Sabonis. He's going to be a pretty good backup. And now I'm going to move Chris for... Where is he? Not Chris. I'm going to move uh, Bender. Why is trading keep getting broken? Bender. In two seconds. Give me a backup center. I can get Brogdon. Um, oh, my Christ. Zaza... Fine, give me this first round pick in Kyle Quinn. That looks like it has some pretty decent value. So, the team is looking pretty solid right now. I think I'm going to sign a backup small forward. Uh, let's just see who's here. A little bit of cap space. Uh, can I bring in Royce O'Neal? Sure, that works for me. He's hopefully going to accept this. He does. I'll see you guys at the start of season number one. This rotation is absolutely insane. So this is going to be the rotation for season number one. It's going to be Damian Lillard, Devin Booker, Kevin Durant, Marvin Bagley, and Carl Anthony Towns. I still cannot believe that that is a rotation. After the first season with this team off the bench, it's going to be Sabonis, Payton, O'Quinn, Troy Daniels, and Royce O'Neal. This is like a 75-win team. I'm like trying to not cough. 75-win uh, team. Uh, let's hopefully we can get there, and I'll see you guys at the end of season number one. So we finished season number one going 62-20. and 20. What a year. LeBron, MVP, Michael Porter Jr., Rookie of the Year. I mean, it was kind of going to be kind of hard to get Bagley as Rookie of the Year with a team like this. Uh, Miritich, six man, Giannis, Jared Allen, and John Smith. The Rockets went 66-16, and 16, so we ended up not first in the West, but I definitely think we could compete with them. We were four games behind them. Player stats in the year, Kevin Durant let us in score, and then it was Dame. Evan Booker, Carl Anthony Towns, Marvin Bagley. Like, this was a really, really good team. Like, I know it probably wasn't the hardest team. I don't know why I always do that to try to find team sets. I know it probably wasn't the hardest team to rebuild in the world, but still pretty impressive of a team nonetheless. Uh, we're taking on, funny enough, the Timberwolves in the first round. Carl Anthony Towns' old team. They beat us. Okay. I was doing another year anyways, but okay. This is just some 2K shit for you. Rockets go on to... Blow a 3-1 lead to the Wizards, and John Wall is the Finals MVP. Okay, that's not something you see every day, but it's all good. So we're going to head up to the draft. Uh, good thing we traded our pick because it clearly was not going to have any value. So uh, do we have a first this year? We have the ninth overall pick from the Spurs. Of course we do. I'm going to package all these and move up. 9, 27, 29. Could I get like 4? 
They don't agree to that, but how about if I throw you... I know I have some players I don't care about. Damn, I could give you a Peyton, but... Alright, I'll just... I'll do lower than four. Can I do, like, five or six? Um, whichever one I really see first. Five. Damn, uh, six. I just don't really want to, like, have to throw in another first-round pick. Six from the Lakers? They agree to that. So we have the sixth overall pick in this year's draft. Not sure who I'm going to draft, and I'll see you guys at rookie signing. So rookie signing, sixth overall pick. We ended up taking Sharif O'Neal. It was the best prospect available. I thought, why not? Let's just go ahead and have him be a good backup. I know Sabonis is currently the backup, but what is Sabonis' overall if you move him to center? He goes down to a 78. All right, I'll probably move. I'll probably trade Sabonis just because I kind of want to run with Sharif O'Neal. Like, I'm still going to obviously pick up his option, but I'll probably package like him and TJ Lee for something. So Booker and Towns are both free agents this year. That's kind of an issue, but let's see. First of all, do this. Okay, point guard, we're still good. Uh, shooting guard, we need to re-sign Booker, and then we need another one. So we need a backup shooting guard. Need a backup small forward. Good at power forward this team. Let's see Sharif in a Suns jersey. Interesting look. And then we need a backup center. So, Sabonis, what could I get? Backup center, backup power forward, backup shooting guard. All I really want. Um, small forward. Dylan Brooks, not horrible. I'm not trying to give up a first round pick, though. All right, you know what? We're going to do this after we re-sign everybody because I need to re-sign Towns and, like, um, and Booker, like, immediately because I'm not trying to risk anything. We get both of them back, so we're good there. I'm going to send through moratorium, make sure nothing glitches out because 2K sometimes just absolutely hates me and doesn't say they re-signed with somebody else, but we're good. So we're good. So let's take a look at this. Uh, Lillard and Payton, not horrible. Booker, we need a backup. Uh, Durant is good. Bagley, okay. So let's go ahead and look back at the trades. For Sabonis, um, I know I saw Dylan Brooks. I don't really want to give up a first-round pick, though. Um, I'm, oh, you know what? Chetty Osman's overall goes up when you move him to back up small forward. So, I'm going to do... Actually, we need a backup shooting guard, too, I'm pretty sure. All right, so he's going to either play shooting guard or small forward. Once Whoever I trade for here. Uh, Ulis, I can move as well. Because I don't need Tyler Ulis. He's not even in the rotation. Um, center, Billy Hernan Gomez. Perfect, perfect, perfect. And now let me move TJ Leaf for a backup shooting guard or a backup small forward. And Ospin will play whichever one we do not trade for. So, ooh, Jaron Jackson Jr. The fact that it's that easy to trade for Jaron Jackson Jr. is kind of crazy. You know what? I feel obligated. Let's just make the move for Kuzma. He's going to be the backup small forward. This team is, like, unreal. Like, this is, like, such a god squad. Like, let's just look at this right now. Lillard, Payton, Booker, Osman, Durant, Kuzma, Bagley, O'Neal, Towns, Hernan Gomez. What a team. We're going to win a championship next year. I'm absolutely positive, and I'll see you guys at the start of season number two. All right, guys, rotation season number two very well could be the final year. Damian Lillard, Devin Booker, Kevin Durant, Marvin Bagley, and Carl Anthony Towns. Off the bench, Kyle Kuzma, Alfred Payton, Billy Hernan Gomez, Chetty Osman, and Sharif O'Neal. Uh, I think this team could definitely win us a championship. I thought it could last year. We're even better this year. And I will see you guys at the end of season number two. All right, guys, end of season number two, LeBron MVP. We do go 67-15 and 15 on the year, a little bit better than last year. Zion Williamson, Rookie of the Year, Jordan Bell, Andre Drummond, Shai Gilgis, and Mike D'Antoni. This is the year. We're going to win a championship this year. I am very, very confident in this team. Stats-wise on the year, Durant, Booker, Lillard, Towns, Bagley. Scoring's down a little bit, but, I mean, there are so many good scores in this team that I feel like it has to be. We did lead the lead in scoring. And we were not a very good defensive team, looks like. I mean, we are top 10, but whatever. Best differential, so doesn't matter to me. First round, taking on the Pelicans. Let's not lose in the first round again. Seriously? Seriously, 2K. What is, what is wrong with this team in the playoffs? Just why? Why do you have to be like this? Okay, we're going to win this game. But, like, this team is... How is this team not better than the Pelicans? Like, Seriously? Okay, like, we won this game too, but, like, this is just annoying. Why are we going seven games with the eight seed? This is ridiculous. Okay, we're going to win, but just that's just so frustrating. Now I'm going to have to go game by game. Okay, okay. Nuggets, there's no there's no way. Just there's no chance. Thank you. Rockets, get out of here. You were... No, just, just no. Just so we... Okay. No... Okay, we're taking on the Knicks in the NBA Finals. The New York Knicks? Are you kidding me? Who's on this Knicks team? I swear to God, if we lose one game, there's there's literally no way we could lose a game to this team. Goodbye. Sweep City. We win a championship. And how fitting that Carl Anthony Towns is the Finals MVP. So hopefully you guys did enjoy this rebuild. I'm not sure if you want to see the other side of this rebuild where I do trade Carl Anthony Towns and then do a uh, Timberwolves rebuild. But if you do, let me know that down below in the comment section along with any other video ideas. Hopefully you guys did enjoy this one. And I'll see you guys all in the next video.